Hi, everyone. Uh, it's Wednesday, September 6th. Uh, great to be with you today. I hope you had a great Tuesday yesterday. Uh, we continue to look at this film Rapunzel from kind of broad strokes of the brush. Uh, we see the, the these great questions uh, that, that humankind struggles with, and, and uh, they all point finally to Jesus, who is the answer to these struggles, right? Uh, we uh, we, we looked uh, the first day at the idea that uh, this uh, the queen was dying and she was with child, but she was dying. There was nothing anyone could do, but the light from above could heal her. Uh, you know, is that the parallelism is, is amazing. And, and, and then yesterday we talked about the deceiver you have. The, and throughout the movie, you had this deceiver, this liar and, and uh, lying about everything. Right. And um, and and that's who Satan is. He's the deceiver. He's the liar. Always has been. He has, he's the father of lies, right? So what do we do? We we listen to the voice of the shepherd of Jesus, right? Uh, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, right? And I give them eternal life. There's the light, and I shall not, and, and they, no one can take them out of my hand, right? So, so I mean, this is uh, this points right to the reality of God and Jesus Christ. Today, uh, I I just want to look at this movie and and point out again, uh, I I call them Jesus figures or, or savior figures, right? Uh, towards uh, the end of the movie, uh, you have um, Rapunzel and and her her uh, her lover, right? The the one that she will end up marrying, and um, and this 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 scene where he has been stabbed by uh, the the evil uh, old woman who has uh, remained eternally young by by lying to uh, Rapunzel. Uh, and now he's saying they're dying, and and um, Rapunzel makes a deal uh, with this old woman that she will live with her and, and do anything she says if if she will just allow Rapunzel to heal him so he doesn't die, right? So now here we have a savior figure, Rapunzel, uh, and um, and she's willing, in a sense, to lay down her life to say because she loves this person to save this person. Uh, but what does he do? He's saying, no, no, no. And she says, no, I don't care. I, I can't let you die. And, and But as she comes close, he cuts off her hair. A and that means that she can't heal him. Uh, and, and, and that her power is gone, it seems, right? Uh, and the, um, the old woman... She grabs the hair, and and she tries to hold on to it, but but it it uh, it it undoes everything that it's done for this woman for for gener for centuries and centuries, and she and she ends up falling out of the woman uh, out of the window and and uh, disappearing. She's dead. Uh, but now her lover is is dying because he becomes a savior figure. He willingly gives up his life. So that she can have life, that she has to be in this eternal death of being under the thumb of this woman, right? Uh, and again, what what can rescue her from this death? And and uh, she weeps over him with a tear, and it, it falls on him, and he's healed. Love finally heals him. Huh? Finally overcomes death. Uh, and Jesus said, right. I am the resurrection and life. He who believes in me, even though he dies, will live. The one who is love gives us victory over death. And we, we can bring this victory into the life of others. In a sense, we can bring this healing, uh, this victory over the death and the life of others. It's so, it's so interesting to me here in John 14, the, the words, is Jesus talking. And, and he, he says here, don't you know, Philip, even after I've been among you such a long time, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I'm in the Father and the Father's in me? And so you have this, he, he's trying to communicate this oneness that he dwells in together with the Father and the Spirit, right? Uh, and then, and, but then he goes on. The words I say are not my own. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing this, his work. So he's trying to explain this. But then he says, believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or at least believe on the evidence of the miracles themselves. And he would say, the tomb is empty, right? I tell you the truth. Anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these 
because I am going to the Father. And he says, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever, the spirit of truth. Do you see the parallelism here? Uh, um, with Rapunzel, she had received this power from above uh, and, and, uh, and had been able to bless then uh, this, this guy, and, and, and we receive this power. We receive the Holy Spirit. He, he, he lives within us. We're born again into him. And, and, and notice here, it says here, I tell you the truth, anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. He will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. So, so even as Jesus brought life, we bring life. Now, he is the life. He's the one we bring, right? Uh, but we bring this into the whole world. And, and, and how can we do that? Because he gives us his spirit. And we can bless people with his love. Uh, and we can point the way to the cross and the empty tomb, right? Uh, we become Christians, which means little Christ in this world. Uh, we become uh, Savior figures that reflecting the great Savior, Jesus Christ. Where in your life can you do this? In, with your spouse, with your, with your children, with your family, with your friends and your community. Where can you do this? Uh, and know the joy of doing great things in Jesus. So would, would you pray with me? Dear Jesus, um, you're the light of the world. You are the life of the world. Uh, you, you have come into us and you have given us your life and you dwell within us and you give us your spirit. Help us, Lord, to be all that you empower us to be in this world, little Christ, people that bring your light and your love and your healing and your victory over death and hurt and pain and sickness into our world. Give us joy in these things. We pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. May God be with you. Bye-bye.